Hey YouTube, opinionated review. I have you guys a video on Dashboard X. It's in the Mod My Repo for $1.99. And as you guys can see, my iPad home screen is loaded down with widgets. And that's basically what Dashboard X allows you to do. Add widgets to your home screen, whether it's your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. Finally, I can add widgets to my home screen. Yes. Time for my destructive plan. <laughs> But yeah, guys, that's basically what it allows you to do. Not only can you add them to your home screen, but if I double tap my status bar, you guys can see it also has its own actual, well, a dashboard where you can put the, the um, widgets in here as well. So we're going to go ahead and run through the tweet. Now, not only do, are they on my lock screen, but I can actually interact with these widgets right here. You guys can see them just hit play on that. You know, I don't know what kind. That's Isla music. That's popcorn. You know, only man she want. You, <laughs> you guys don't know nothing about that. You see, I have my SB setting widget right here. Uh, my this one was this widget is actually made for Dashboard X. That's a clock widget. The, everything else is um, notification center widget. So I'm definitely looking forward to the future to see what my developers come up with for Dashboard X. Here's my calendar widget. This is my note widget. I could actually go ahead and type inside that if I want to. And you guys know I love me some freaking Nayan Cat. <laughs> oh man, oh man, I just get super excited when I freaking had a nigga. I love the nigga cat, man. That's my favorite widget of all time, man. <laughs> But yeah, let's, let me just go ahead and show you guys how you can add widgets. Now, you have to be in wiggle mode. So you just go ahead and touch your icon, hold it down, and you're going to touch the home screen. And then the little the menu for all the widgets that you have installed on your device from Cydia are going to pop up right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and just add another name, Cat Widget, just for fun. The interaction widget, if I turn this off and I add it, I'm not going to be able to interact with it. I can just move it around, so I'm just going to touch the home button. If I touch it, you guys can see it, it, I can't interact with the widget. It's going to be the same thing for these. If these the interactions were off, I could not slide my calendar widget like this. I could not play my music, and I wouldn't be able to type inside that if you want to delete it you touch and hold just touch the X right there wherever the X is on these you guys can see them right there if I bring up the dashboard you can go ahead and add the widgets here the same way you just touch and hold so you just touch and hold the widget until it starts wiggling you could go ahead and rearrange it how you want to it's the same thing you touch and hold and it's gonna it should bring up the uh, menu and I could just add a widget that I could delete them as if I deleted it on the home screen the same way and then I could double tap to dismiss because I have it set like that or just press the home button so you guys can see that let's go into the settings app you guys can see a bug actually there whenever you use it sometime on the iPad at least the dashboard your status bar sticks that's one of the bugs and it's super buggy so hopefully some updates would bring some bring some um, bug fixes to this but this is the first release so that's expected so you go into settings and scroll down until you see dashboard X right here you can do a number of things in here. Up to the top where it says home screen, these are all the widgets I have enabled on my home screen. So if you want to delete them, you can also delete them from in here. Just come in, swipe, or just touch the edit button, and then go ahead and delete them when the edit thing come up at the end like that. Over here for the set where it says dashboard, you can go ahead and enable the double tap to dismiss. You could change the opacity of, of this, so if I do double tap, you guys can see it's a lot darker than it was before. So I'm going to just go ahead and put that down. I prefer it to be see-through. I can set my activation meta. By default, it's set to just double tap the status bar as I'm doing. You can go ahead and change it how you want. 
here you have the same widgets so these are the widgets that I have enabled inside my dashboard I could just go ahead and delete them just like I did before that's basically all the settings there for dashboard X is a super awesome tweak it's just a bit buggy for right now and it also works on your iPhone and iPad just like I said before you guys can see on my iPhone I have my Nancat the lovely Nancat widget just running across my my um home screen and I have my weather widget there I can do the same thing just touch and hold me, let it go into wiggling could just move this around just let me just delete it I could touch and hold for the menu to come up and just add the widget and move it around like I would just as the same exact thing like how you do it on the iPad so I said it's called dashboard X it's in the bottom of my repo for $1.99 some matter of preference if you want to get it or not Remember, it's a little bit buggy, so be prepared for a couple of bugs. With that being said, please rate, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day. Make sure you show that thumbs up button some love. And if you aren't subscribed, what are you waiting on? Hit the subscribe button above. Like my Facebook fan page and follow me on Twitter. I answer questions a lot faster on Twitter than I do on YouTube. Oh yeah, and check out my previous video if you haven't already.